Well, this is another nice recipe for you folks. It is scones, or as the producer insists on saying scones. Oh, we have this debate every single time, but I'm going to call them scones because that's how I've always called them. I really love this treat because do you ever have that situation where, you know, you get those unexpected visitors and if your house is like my house, well, the cake jar or the cake dome is always empty. The kids seem to raid it. And then when somebody comes around for a cup of tea, you've actually got nothing. You know, these are brilliant because you can whip them up in next to no time. But there are some tricks to really successful scones. So first of all, you're going to need some flour, around 500 grams. So I'm just going to pop that in. Now, it's plain flour, but I like using something called double zero flour, which is just it's like silk. If you do this not in a processor and do it through your hands, oh, it, it just feels so silky soft. It's quite addictive. You, know, you just get that lovely feeling of rubbing the butter and the flour between your fingers. But because it's so fine, it really gives a nice result. So in that goes pop that there. Then I've got two heaped tablespoons of something called cream of tartar. Now cream of tartar is a natural raising agent. It's fantastic, especially with scones, drop scones, you know, things like soda bread. And it can also be used as a really good stabiliser when making meringues. So in that goes... You can get this as well. It's very common to find now um, in the supermarkets. So don't worry, it's always there. And a good heap tape... Ta good heaped teaspoon, get my teeth in, of bicarbonate of soda. So they're going to make them rise. Now we've got around about 50 to 60 grams of caster sugar. In that goes. And then around about 130 grams of cubed butter. Make sure it's really, really chilled. Just come out of the fridge and uh, you'll be fine. But just cube it up to help it along a little bit. Also make sure your oven is set to 200 degrees so that they cook. Now then, Gertie here, you know how I have my fun with her. She likes paying up. Let's see if she works. Now, that's been whizzing away. I can already tell that it's slightly too sticky, so I'm going to keep adding a little bit more flour bit by bit. So, pop a bit more in there. I don't want it too dry, but we don't want it too sticky either. Right. Okie dokie. Put some more flour on the surface. There we go. And we're just going to take it out. Do be careful if you're using a food processor. Don't forget there's a nasty blade at the bottom there. Very sticky dough. Very yummy. Okay, so I'm not using a rolling pin because the idea is, is not to work this too much. But I'm, I'm going to keep adding a bit more flour just till I get it how I want it. You want to just try and just pat it out. There we go, with my sticky little mitts. I'll just pat it out there, move it over. Okay, turn it over and just pat it out gently. We're not going to use rolling pins. We don't want to stretch it too much. And the thing is with the scone, to get it to rise nicely, you want it a fairly decent thickness. Not too thick, but a reasonable thickness. So, hmm, which cookie cutter shall I use today? I think I use this size. And there's a trick. And the trick is, is not to, when you actually press it into the dough, it's not be doing all this action to try and get it out. What you've got to try and do is to just press it down. There we go. And down it goes and lift it up. And can you see, it just made a really nice little shape there. So we're just gonna stick that on. And then we're just gonna use all the dough up. Now this part, it's, it's really good if you want to, you know, glaze the tops, which you can. You can glaze them with egg and milk and put some sugar on the top and then pop them in the oven. to now take 
them over here and just put them on the on the little display. Not that they last for long. In fact, I know of some staff who work next door and I think they get a little bit hungry sometimes. The smell seemed to come from this studio through to next. So do you know what? I know there's enough here for the crew, but I might just spoil them to some Friday afternoon cream jam scones. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.